There isn't a day that goes by that Al Basilicato isn't out here in downtown Jewett City. He'll do anything for anybody if, he, if, uh, if they need it. With his broom in hand, he pushes his barrel along Main Street, stopping only when he sees something that needs to be picked up. Every place I find garbage on the ground, I clean it. If there's a cigarette butt, he sweeps it up. If there's a weed, he pulls it. I thought he worked with the town crew. Al doesn't get paid, and no one has ever asked him to do this. Now, Al's good deeds don't end with just sweeping up the streets. If he sees a lawn which is too long, he mows it. And in the wintertime, he shovels the same path he walks right now. But I do this because it looks good. I don't like it when it looks lousy. Today, the town said thanks. Declare June 12th to be Alphonse Basilicato Day in the town of Griswold, Connecticut, here forth. A celebration which brought his family, once separated in foster homes, together. He's so good, and this is going to give him another 10 years on his life. 25 years ago, Al suffered traumatic brain injury, hit by a drunk driver while hitchhiking along I-95 in Florida. And then I'm ahead and my brain almost blew up. He was lucky to survive, and now this town is lucky to have him. He's a fixture, I guess you could say, you know. It wouldn't be Jewett City now if you didn't see him.